Hi there, welcome to the perfume experience. My name is Rodney and today we are in for a review. So we are going to do a review for this. This is the Mason Alhambra's Afro Leather. This is an alt or a clone of the popular Memo Paris African Leather. So on this video, we will find out how, what are the notes of this, how they perform, uh, what is the longevity of this fragrance and what's the inspiration behind this beautiful blend uh, from the house of Memo Paris. So let's get started. So Memo Paris has got a whole line of leather fragrances uh, such as African leather as this one. It's got ocean leather, it's got Sicilian leather, it's got uh, Iberian leather, so many different leather fragrances and you must be wondering why a house makes so many leather fragrances, right? Or uh, inspired by leather. So if you look at uh, their website and uh, it kind of uh, talks about it, it says that uh, leather has been one of the first tools uh, from the nomadic times where uh, tribal people carry tools and uh, over modern age leather is still considered as such a luxury element. Uh, it is one of those uh, products that has got a distinct smell for itself and that is the uh, main inspiration behind creating fragrances which uh, talk about leather as the main accord. Uh, at the same time uh, if you look at their collection, it talks about, let's say, for example, Irish leather or ocean leather or African leather. At that point of time, it goes back to that particular place and tries to capture the essence of uh, that particular destination. Uh, so if you look at this, this one captures the destination of Africa. So it kind of brings you to think about Savannah. Uh, it talks about the wildlife there. It talks about the grasslands and tries to capture the essence of the African uh, forest with all the wild animals and I had spent a brief period of time in Africa and I'd been to a safari there and instantly I can kind of resonate with that uh, picture of this particular cheetah and I can kind of resonate with uh, the safari the wildlife and all of that let me try sharing a couple of pictures here and uh, that's what this bottle is going to talk about so what kind of a leather fragrance is this this is a warm spicy aromatic fresh spicy leathery woody um, earthy animalic oud kind of a fragrance right now if you look at the notes of this one this has got very prominently it's got cardamom it's got leather it's got patchouli it's got violet leaf it's got uh, cumin it's got musk it's got vetiver and it's got oud as well right now when you think about all of these and if i apply a couple of sprays of this fragrance the sprayer is very nice uh, if you are able to capture this. It's, it's a beautiful um, uh, sprayer and they're pretty good at that, right? Now, <clears throat> instantly, you get a very um, nice opening and the opening is a little sharp, I would say. So at this price point, uh, you can't really expect uh, uh, nothing else. But then the opening is very nice. Uh, it's a little sharp, but then it kind of also it brings about a very linear note instantly. And the linear note that uh, that I get is of uh, that of cardamom mixed with leather, mixed with saffron, and mixed with patchouli. That note is instantaneously something that you can recognize. Now you can think about this as a pyramid, and at the top are the sharp notes, right? Now the moment you the fragrance opens up, and as it comes down to about that five six hours of uh, its longevity, it kind of be, uh, continues to be on that uh, linear uh, note profile and the only thing that changes is as it mellows down the it becomes wider and wider and it starts something like a beautiful vibe that you carry on right you start actually loving the fragrance as it dries down and at the dry down it's really beautiful right now uh, the the best part about this particular uh, note profile is that uh, while this can um, while if you look at the cardamom note and the leathery note, uh, it is not um, animalic in a very negative way. Uh, it's not sweet. So, at this, but at the same time, it can be a very beautiful composition of not sweet nor uh, animalic. It can be in the sense of an amber kind of a, a lineage that you're looking at. It builds this nice aura around you, and the scent profile is really, really very good. 
so um, you will like this fragrance from a leather point of view if you think about you wanted to have a leather fragrance uh, and if you think that if you wanted to build something with cardamom and oud but the oud is very very low very mellow uh, what you will really get more of is the cumin uh, or cumin in other words you would get that you would get uh, geranium uh, you would get violet leaf uh, you would get musk and you would get vetiver uh, you will build that uh, uh, you know around you um, if you smelled latafa kaid latafa kaid is very strong and very um, i would say you know on your face kind of a fragrance loud fragrance this has got some hints of it but on a very soft gentle smoother kind of a vibe a vibe that can be a little towards the sweeter side but and can build a nice aura around you so the fragrance house uh, memo paris was launched in the year 2007 by clara molly and her husband john and uh, this particular fragrance the african leather was launched in the year 2015 now uh, i was able to buy this from the middle east through an e-commerce platform called noon and in inr this is roughly about uh, 1350 indian rupees which is about 60 uh, um, ad uh, the performance of this particular fragrance if i were to talk about uh, easily on your skin you will get about 6 hours time okay so like i said it starts very with uh, very sharp notes and then uh, moves and you know on your skin a uh, good loud uh, performance at least to for about 6 hours but you can um, get extreme skin close kind of performance for more than 10 hours plus as well so i've tried it two times and in both the cases uh, easily 4 5 hours you get good uh, you know uh, longevity you get good siage around you it's a good vibe that this fragrance builds for at least for the first 4 to 5 hours time and then gradually of course it mellows down now when do you when can you wear this so this is a perfect fit for uh, like uh, i would say for any parties or if you are wearing for a, going in for a black jacket event you can definitely go in for this but the ideal uh, time would be to take your bike out and wear a, a nice leather jacket or probably uh, build a very sophisticated kind of a fragrance around you i think in that case this would be a good time to wear definitely winters and definitely an evening wear So let me quickly uh, talk to you about the bottle. The bottle uh, is really really good, okay? The bottle is really good and uh, it, uh, it feels very nice in the hand. Uh, the the cap is also nice uh, heavy uh, cap uh, and it's not mag- uh, it's magnetic uh, but I think you should not uh, hold it with the cap but I think it's uh, holding pretty decently well uh, but I would not risk it. Uh, but the feel of the bottle is really really good uh, the printing it's an almost an exact copy of the og uh, except for some edges and you know or whatever but otherwise uh, literally the bottle is like dope very very good quality bottle okay now um, how much do we rate this okay so if i were to look at uh, i don't have the og so i can't really compare the og and this um, for this so we'll keep that aside but if i were to talk about performance of this particular fragrance i will easily say this is a good uh, 8 8.5 easily let's say 8.5 because on skin uh, 10 plus hours is really really good that means apparel will be more than 12 hours plus so i think performance is definitely good now uh, the scent profile uh, i would say this is about 7.5 the reason for that is Uh, whatever is the opening note that you get is the same linear note that it kind of mellows down with it doesn't really change notes in between or anything as such uh, you get that cardamom you get that leathery note you get those uh, the violet leaf patchouli and that continues with cumin all throughout and you get that bit bit of uh, oud but that remains constant all across the journey of this particular fragrance right now uh, so performance is done and uh, scent profile is done So from a value point of view uh, this is about the 60 uh, AD which is about 1350 for a 80 ml uh, fragrance bottle and from that for that this is really really value for money and you can completely give it a 9 right so uh, good value for money so on the whole i think uh, this is a good buy and i think uh, our uh, 
fellow sellers uh, you know the mr talib musa uh, muzamil nayani and uh, uh, paji and um, danish mirza all of you should look at getting this particular fragrance to india if if possible and i think people will love it because of the presentation in fact all of the mason alhambra presentations have been really really good in fact uh, the porto uh, neroli portofino of tom ford and udi wood uh, udi wood and all of that they have literally copied the bottle to whatever it is right so from that way i think the presentation is really really good uh, and i think we, this if it is available in india i think a lot of people would like to go for it uh, so this is my review about uh, afro leather from the house of mason alhambra uh, the uh, clone of african leather of memo paris and uh, if you like this video please like and subscribe and share uh, if you want to watch uh, more videos about uh, the og to the alls and clones of let's say dior homme intense blue de chanel swatch and uh, more recently ysl y uh, you can watch the playlist here and on that note my name is rodney thank you so much for uh, giving me so much of support within the first one month and uh, uh, looking to grow along with you and for you and thank you so much take care love you bye Thank you.